Do you like to compete in OCR races but want to know how to eat in order to improve your performance? Watch this. Our next caller is Clint from Iowa. What's up, Clint? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How's it going? First off, I'd like to thank you for everything you guys do, but mostly Justin because I want to be listening to you guys without him going on tinfoil hat. Dang. Uh, All right. I got a convert. <laughs> that's right. Uh, first off, my thing is, like, with my job, I do fairly physical labor. I walk a lot for it. I just started your OCR program, and I'm just trying to figure out what the proper caloric intake I should be in to really thrive in that. Okay, that's gonna. We're gonna need more information than that for sure. Where are you at calorie wise right now? Uh, like right what? now, I'm about 215 pounds. I'm sitting right around 2,500 to 2,600 calories, about 200 grams of protein a day. For okay. my job, like I probably walk anywhere from five to ten miles and move. 15 to 30,000 pounds of stuff throughout the day. Okay. And then what's the, what's the primary goal? Like what are we trying to lean out? Or we just want to get fit. Are we trying to get stronger or like, what's our primary goal? Um, obviously I could lean out a little bit, but mostly I just want to, like I said, I'm doing the OCR program. I'm about ready to start the first phase and I just want to get as best at that as I possibly can. Honestly, dude, it's it, the answer is a lot simpler than we think. I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't, I wouldn't freak out too much or stress too much, I should say, about what exactly you should go from here. I would start the programming, yeah. and if you find your appetite is increasing, eat more, f- eat, eat more. more, and feed your feed Fair yourself. Enough. Yeah, but don't eat like an asshole. Like if you feel hungry, don't go from twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred calories. Go from yeah. twenty five hundred to twenty seven hundred or twenty eight hundred, and see how you feel. If you still feel hungry, increase it. Especially if you see performance going up and you're maintaining your weight where you like to be and you're getting stronger. But uh, your your added your your body's probably pretty adapted to your your daily routine, even though it's a, a lot. Sounds what what do you do by the way? It's a lot of it's a lot of moving and lifting. What are yeah. you doing? Uh, I'm a delivery driver for okay, okay. like a company you would have out there would be like Cisco. Oh, okay, but it's a company like that back here in Iowa. And I'm assuming you've been doing this for a long time or quite a while. Uh yeah, like twelve years. Oh yeah, so yeah. your your body is is pretty much adapted to that. So it's it's basically doing that on almost on autopilot for you, even though it is okay. labor intensive and you should uh, pay attention to how you feel. But you're probably pretty adapted to that based off of your calorie intake and everything else. So yeah, I would start the programming and uh, just pay attention to how your appetite feels. And if you start to feel like you're hungrier that more than usual, which might happen because you're gonna be doing a lot of movements that are different. Um, so feel free to feed yourself. And just, you know, give yourself a few hundred calories extra and see how you feel from there. And then just slowly increase if, if you need to or keep it where you're at. And then you lean out. You might not get uh, as much performance by not increasing the calories, but then you're going to get leaner. So based off of what you want more of is where I would guide you if you were my client. I'd say you okay. would, we would kind of check in every week and or every other week and go, Clint, how you doing? You're like, man, Adam, I'm hungry like crazy. But boy, I tell you what, I'm leaning out. I kind of like the way I look and feel and. I know I could probably be a little bit stronger this, but I like where I, okay, we're going to keep it there. If you go, Adam, like, man, I, I just, I feel fatigued and tired and I, I just don't have an energy and I'm hungry all day long. Well, fuck, let's feed then, Clint. Let's give yourself more calories. Um, and that's how we would go. And we just kind of base it off of how you're feeling going through uh, OCR and what we're seeing performance wise. And if you like what you're seeing that's happening to your body. Yeah, there's not much to add. I mean, your metrics are going to be okay. your, your performance and your appetite. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so, at, okay. so how, how you're eating, if your performance improves with more calories, then you're going good. Um, that's pretty much 200 grams of protein with 2,500 calories. You, you are, are your carbohydrates, where are your carbohydrates at? Uh, that I don't pay attention to as much because I try to do a majority of protein. Yeah. You might want more carbs while you're doing OCR, okay. but, you know, fill it out. Some people do okay, mm-hmm. but you might find that you need a little bit more carbs, um, to give you more fuel for OCR type training. But uh, I mean, basically Adam covered it all. Yeah. I'm curious too. So you've ran a few of these before and are you like trying to get more competitive, uh, in terms of like your, your numbers and your time? Yeah. For the most part, like the guys I run them with are, are, are all extremely younger and, like wrestling type bodies, like very in shape. And so like mm-hmm. I'm competitive with them. Okay. Yeah. What was your um, strengths and weaknesses, uh, you know, with obstacles? Uh, for the most part, it's just the endurance of doing like the last one I did was as a Spartan beast. 
and just the endurance of that 13 miles or whatever it was. Uh-huh. So the, OC- my ass. the OCR program is going to be great because yeah. we that. build in the running in yeah. there. So that'll be great. Yeah. it's It was really built off of, you know, thinking about Spartan races. I mean, that's what we worked with Amelia Boone on that one. So, um, yeah, follow the program as laid out. Uh, let let your appetite and performance drive what you do with your calories. Um, and I really wouldn't adjust mm-hmm. anything too much from here. Just kind of go go kind of biweekly check-ins with yourself on how you're feeling mm-hmm. and what you like. And show those young kids what time it is. That's right. Go look yeah, some- that's keep, right. Us, keep us updated, man. I want to yeah. know how yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and second part, uh, since I work this job, I start work at 11 o'clock at night. And so my sleep time is during the day. Any tips to try to set that routine when – some days I'll work 14 hours. Some days I'll work eight. So it's hard to get into that routine of getting X amount of hours throughout the week. And then I get to the weekend and then I have to rechange my entire schedule so I can see my wife and friends and whatnot. Oh, oh that's right. Man. Man. Yeah, yeah, swing shift. For you. <laughs> my where, wife, my yeah. wife used to work like Wear that. really strong blue light blocking glasses uh, about an hour and a half or two hours before you want to fall asleep. So that'll help. Okay. You can use red light therapy or sauna um, as a way to help recalibrate Recalibrate, on the days that you're switching your schedule. And then I would use melatonin a few days a week um, on the nights that you you know is going to be a little difficult for you. I would use like one milligram. Any more than that, it's probably not going to be beneficial, but one milligram extended release. And I would take that about an hour before with the blue light blocking glasses before you go to bed. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks for calling in. Stay away from the lizard people. Thank you guys. Keep up the good work. No problem. Thank Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, pretty straightforward, right? Uh, when it comes to OCR type training, you have to train specifically for it, I guess, to perform the best. And then when it comes to food and performance, you just got to gauge your performance based off of your intake. It's I think very it's an, individual. I too. think you need more carbs. That's what I think. Yeah, I, I think, think you're right with that. Yeah, with that assessment, I, I could see that like being a thing. Like if you start to incorporate it and find out how how, how much more energy that's going to provide him throughout the endurance, I think that'll I, be something to consider. I like this question though because we, it gives it gave us an opportunity, which I don't feel like we've done anytime recently, where you know you have people getting ready to start. Uh, towards a plan and they want to lay out like everything like you know what should I do all dialed in and I would never coach somebody that way because I don't know I don't even know I mean even if I have a good guess at where your calorie should be like I so so honestly if he's already got an idea of where his maintenance like I'm not going to adjust anything I'm gonna say let's just start this thing and then then based off your see the feedback yeah based off of your feedback is how I'm going to either increase decrease stay the same cut back maybe on some of the volume of training because now you're Mm-hmm. telling me like what's going on with your sleep because that brought in a new variable right the fact that he's swing shift and maybe oh, he yeah. has yep. rough weeks like i'm gonna adjust like his programming for that week and lay off maybe the training a tiny bit if he had a really stressful week sleep wise and so but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna plan for any of that until it, it starts to you know reveal itself in our training program and then adjust accordingly and i think that i think that's that sometimes people want you to tell like how how often you guys get this question where someone's like oh i'm fine i'm following maps aesthetic what what should my calorie intake be or what should i uh you know should i go in a cut or should i go in a bulk yeah it's we like, need information yeah mm-hmm. follow the programming and then let's let's see how your body is responding and then based off of your goals and how your body is responding then we can make the the correct adjustments to your nutrition Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.